Pattu's gold medal. When Neeraj Chopra won gold medal in the Olympics, crores of Indians felt proud. All over the country, Neeraj Chopra became the only topic of discussion even on social media too. Gattu Chinki and their parents also saw Neeraj Chopra's performance on live TV. Gattu Chinki got inspired after seeing the great performances of Indians in the Olympics. I am Neeraj Chopra. I am Neeraj Chopra. Let's go to the playground. Let's go. Hey! Coming to the ground, Gattu Chinki started playing cricket with their friends. That's when an uncle came and said, "Will you only play cricket every day? Play other games too. Get the medals. Now there are great scopes for that." Then what? After listening to uncle, the children changed the game. You have to run till the gate and come back after touching the gate. The one who comes back first will be the winner of the race. One, two, three, go! All the children left at once like a shot of a gun and started running towards the gate. Gattu was far behind. He increased his speed and came to the front. Now the gate was very close. Gattu was feeling very happy. He was just about to touch the gate when suddenly Hari came forward. and left after touching the gate like an arrow gattu kept looking gattu touched the gate and he started running after hari all he had to do was defeat hari hari was very fast gattu also increased his speed and suddenly gattu slipped and fell gattu was crying loudly mom was applying medicine and was scolding him at the same time what was the need to play in the field Haven't I told you a thousand times stop playing and concentrate on studies if you will play you will be a beggar and if you study you will become an emperor that's when dad came and after listening to mom he said this is wrong along with studies sports are also important we put pressure on children to study and also want medals in olympics if you want medals then let give children play in the field along with their studies hearing this Gattu came crying to his father and said, "Dad, I run very fast. If only I had not fallen, I would have won today." Don't worry, Gattu. Perfection comes from practice. Tomorrow morning we will practice in the field. Tell your friends too. Gattu Chinki became very happy after hearing this. Yay! Then we will be the one to win the medal. Then what? On the next day, Dad gathered everyone on the field, and the race started. One, two, three, go! The kids started running. Dad noticed that Gattu was far behind, and Hari was in the front. The children came back after touching the gate. Well done, Hari. Gattu, what happened? Dad, yesterday's injury is on the knee due to that, but tomorrow I will definitely win. On the second day too, when the race started in the morning, Dad noticed Gattu is at number two, and Hari is at number one. Well done, Hari. Keep it up, children. Where is the energy? Didn't you sleep properly? Dad, how was mine? You have speed, but no strength. That's why you are lagging behind. See, that's what I was saying. And you think you can defeat me? In this way, every morning the children started practicing on the ground. One morning, the secretary of the society also saw the children racing. Well done, kids. Keep it up. We will do one thing. Who is in top three right now? Hari, Gudi, and Gattu. Yes. After two weeks, three of them will race in front of the whole society. and whoever wins a medal will be given to them from the society along with this there will be more competitions like swimming badminton etc hearing the words of the secretary all the children were happy great hey children have you heard now double preparation will be needed one day dad saw gattu was eating something while playing mobile games gattu while eating focus only on the food If you do not concentrate on the food, then the food won't get digested properly. You are quite weak. If you want to increase your strength, then focus on eating and drinking properly. Late last night you were watching something on mobile till late. You will get the medal on field, not on mobile. One day when Gattu went to meet Hari, he saw Hari was eating sitting in front of the TV. When Gattu explained this to Hari, he said, "Don't teach me. I do extra practice." 
Even if I run with my eyes closed, still I will come first. Gattu would now wake up early every morning to practice, then go to school after eating on time. And after completing his homework, he would go to sleep after having dinner. Two weeks passed by like this. And the sports competition started in the society. All the children of the society were involved. At first, there was badminton and swimming competition. Chinky came first in swimming. All the competitions were over. And the moment came for which Gattu and Hari were eagerly waiting. Like I told you, Hari, Gudbi and Gattu are in top three. Let's see who wins the gold among three of them. On your mark, three, two, and go! Gattu, Hari and Gudbi, all three left together. Hari was running very fast. Gattu was at number three. Hari, Hari, Hari! Gattu, Gattu, Gattu! The whole society was standing holding their breath. The children were running with their heart and soul. After a while, Gattu overtook Gudbi and came close to Hari. Hari was running very fast. Gattu increased his speed. But again, Hari overtook. Hari was running very fast. Don't know what happened. All of a sudden, Hari's speed became minus and Gattu immediately went ahead of Hari and the ribbon got cut. Gattu won the race. See, Gattu is the winner of the race. Then what? Everyone picked up Gattu and started dancing. Hari went to Gattu and said, Congratulations. Sorry, man. I was too overconfident. Today, I understood how deadly overconfidence is. And Gattu, you did amazing, man. You have increased your strength so much. In the ceremony, the secretary gave a gold medal to Gattu. And Gattu was also given a chance to speak in front of everyone. Then Gattu said, Thank you very much. This is just the beginning. Now many more medals are about to come. I have only one request. If children get used to the mobile phone, you do not say anything. But if they get used to the playground, you all get very angry. This is wrong. Please, they will get medals and children will also be healthy. So change your thinking. I believe if we will study, we will become an emperor. But if we play, then also we will be no less than an achiever. There was a lot of applause in this statement of Gattu. And everyone accepted Gattu's new thinking. Phones and Games A long time ago, in a city, Gattu lived with his parents. He enjoyed playing games a lot. Every evening, he used to play with his friends in the park. <laughs> Catch me if you can! But one day, Gattu's father said to him, Gattu, I have been transferred to some other city by the company. Therefore, we have to leave this city now, my child. But father, all my friends live over here. Don't worry at all. You will have new friends in new place. Gattu was very upset, but finally he agreed. All right, father. After some time, Gattu along with his parents shifted to another city. After finishing all his work, in the evening, when he went to the park to play, he saw that there was no kid over there in the park. He came back to his society and rang the bell of a house. A kid opened the door. Hello friend, my name is Gattu. Will you play football with me? I am already playing, but you're doing something on your phone. Yes, I am playing football in the phone. But it's always more fun to play in real. Therefore, will you play with me? No, I enjoy playing like this. Therefore, I will play in mobile only. <laughs> Gattu became very upset with his behavior. He went to some other house. Hello friend, my name is Gattu. Will you play football with me? No. Football, cricket, everything I play in the phone. On the phone? Yes, seems you know nothing about phones and video games. <laughs> Come, I will teach you. No, I don't want to learn. I love to play games in real sense only. But we get tired by playing physically and we become so sweaty. Therefore, I like to play in mobile only. That way, I play comfortably and don't feel tired too. 
<laughs> like this, one by one, Gattu went to each and every house in the society, and everyone refused to play with him. Upset, Gattu came back to his house. When his father came back from work, Gattu said to him, Father, I don't want to live here. No one likes to play over here. How come this is possible? Everyone loves to play. But no one loves to play over here. My child, again request them to play with you. All right. I'll go to the park again. He looked here and there, and as usual, there wasn't even a single kid in the park. Today also, there's no one over here. And then he saw a girl sitting there in a bench far away. He went near him. My name is Gatti. Who are you? I haven't seen you here ever. My name is Chinky, and I love to play a lot. I also love to play a lot. Come, let's play together. But it would be more enjoyable if other kids also played with us. You're right. Come, let's do something. They both made a plan to tempt other kids to play there in the park. Then they both went to Gattu's father and told him about their plan. His father loved their plan. According to the plan, his father called all the kids to his house and said, I have hidden a latest smartphone in the park, which has some real wonderful games. Whoever will find the phone first will be given that phone. All the kids became very happy after listening about that latest phone. I will find that phone first. No, I will find that phone first. And then, to find the phone, everyone started running here and there in the park. But no one was able to find it. And like this, two hours passed. And they all got very tired. All of them together went near Gattu's father and said, Uncle, you said you have hidden the phone in the park, but there is nothing over here. Yes, uncle. We couldn't find that latest smartphone anywhere. You haven't found that phone of games, but you found some real games. Games which are played in the park. All of you keep on playing games in your home on the phone. But you guys never come to play in the park. Therefore, along with Gatu's father, we lied about the smartphone to you guys. But why? Energy and stamina increases in our body by playing physically, with which our body become more strong. And we don't fall ill easily. Therefore, every day we should play in the park. All the kids understood what Gatu's father meant to say. Uncle, we understood the importance of playing outdoor games. Now every evening we will play in the park, with which we all will stay healthy. And playing with everybody is more enjoyable. <laughs>